Hi there, this video is going to go through uh, function notation and how it uh, how that may apply to graphing in x and y intercepts. So it's kind of like a review of functions. Sort of, not really, but a little bit. And uh, so how I'm going to go about this is I'm going to compare um, function notation to maybe what you're most more use, used to seeing with uh, two variable equations. So we have um, function notation and two variable equations. So two variable equations, I guess what we mean by that is just something like y versus x. And function notation is um, something like f of x where f is the name of a function that depends on x. And an example for that, an example I use for all of this is um, say f of x equals um, say 2x plus 5. Um, so there's a function, I've called it f. So we say f of x is equal to 2x plus 5, so the function f depends on x. And similar to that we have something like, we could have something like y equals 2x plus 5. So these, are, these two things are essentially saying the same thing. Um, but some of this does lead to confusion. So maybe one of the first things that may be confusing is maybe you're asked what is f of 0? And what that really is saying is what is the function when x is equal to 0? So that's the same as And we can uh, work that out. We can say that uh, f of 0 is equal to 2. And instead of x, we're going to put a 0 there, plus 5. So that's 0 plus 5. So f of 0 is equal to 5. Likewise, if we look at the, or think about that in terms of two variable equations, this is like saying, what is y? when x is 0. And I think people are probably more used to seeing that kind of idea. Um, so that's like saying if y equals 2x plus 5, then we plug in the 0 for x. So again, we can see it's very much the same thing, but just sort of different notation, different wording. Uh, another thing that maybe gets confusing is if you're asked what is f of x when oh sorry what is x when f of x equals I don't know um, 10 so we could say that's like saying well f of x equals 2x plus 5 and that equals 10. I'm, I'm, that's what we say right here. So then we say well so we, that's saying 2x plus 5 equals 10 and we can start to manipulate this. Uh, this is the idea of balancing equations. What you do to one side of the equation we do to the other. So we could say 2x plus 5 and then say subtract 5 on this side 10, subtract 5 on that side, so that means 2x, these two cancel out, equals 10 minus 5, which is 5, and then we can divide both sides by 2, 2's cancel out, and we get x equals 5 over 2. 
And likewise, if we look at that in terms of uh, um, a two variable equation, that's like saying, what is x if y equals 10? So we say y equals uh, 2x plus 5. So 10 equals 2x plus 5. 5 equals 2x. x equals 5 over 2. So similar thing. All right, um, so that's kind of how function notation works. <clears throat> uh, the next thing I want to do is uh, talk about how this relates to um, x and y intercepts of graphs. So just to sort of maybe remind people what an x and y intercept is. So if we have a graph, there's x, there's y. We have some line that goes like that. There's two points we can uh, identified this point is the y-intercept and this point is the x-intercept. So x-intercept is where the graph crosses or intercepts the x-axis and y is or the y-intercept is where the graph intercepts or crosses the y-axis. So let's write that stuff down here. X intercept. Um, excuse me. X when f of x equals zero. So we have f of x is equal to two x plus five. And if that's equal to zero, then we have 2x plus 5 equals zero, 2x equals negative 5, and x equals negative 5 over 2. So that's how we'd calculate the x-intercept. Same way, same thing over here for the two variable equation, x when y equals zero. So y equals 0 equals 2x plus 5. So negative 5 equals 2x. x equals negative 5 over 2. All right, and the last thing to cover then is y-intercept. And this is at at f of 0. So f of 0 equals 2, 0 plus 5. f 0 equals 5. That is the y-intercept. And then the two variable equation is um, sorry what is y when x equals 0? There you go. Um, so that's a review of function notation and how function notation and two variable equations relate to x and y intercepts and graphs. Now there is one thing I one more thing I want to talk about. So I have a couple of things written down here about x and y intercepts and uh, maybe you're gonna have a quiz someday or a test and you'd say Mr. Smith hey I can't remember how to do x and y intercepts I can't remember all this stuff and I want you to realize it's it, and it's super important to, to understand that really you don't need to understand this stuff you should all be able to figure it out as you go along let's suppose you're given some some function say f of x equals 3x minus 6. Now I'm not even going to tell you how that graph, what that graph looks like. Like I have no idea. Let's let's just pretend I have no idea how to graph that and I need to find the y, x and y intercepts um, and I can't remember how to do that. Well what I can do is I can just just blindly sketch a graph. I can just go okay there's some some function f of x equals 3x minus 6, okay? 
and I don't, I'm not saying this is the correct graph, I'm just saying it's a graph. And there's two things I know for sure. I know for sure that there's a y-intercept and there's an x-intercept. And two more things. I know absolutely, without, with no question, that if I draw this, I can see that the y-intercept occurs at x equals zero. That's enough information for me to figure out the y-intercept. I can take this function and now I just realize that I'm looking for f of zero. So that equals three times zero minus six f of zero equals negative six. That is the y-intercept. Now we can see uh, I've I've actually sketched this graph incorrectly. You can see that the y-intercept is supposed to be negative 6 down here, okay? That's not the important thing that I'm trying to say here. What I'm doing in this video is saying how you could figure that stuff out on the fly. You don't have to memorize stuff. The other thing we can see here is we know the x-intercept. It has a y value of 0, so y equals 0, or f of x equals 0. And we can figure that out too. <coughs> f of x equals 0 equals 3x minus 6. That means 3x is equal to 6 and x equals 2. That's the x-intercept. So without memorizing anything, without uh, having to memorize rule or some sort of, I don't know, something that makes you like some sort of acronym or whatever, uh, you should be able to figure out these things on the fly as you go. Everybody in Math 10 has the ability to do that. You just have to, if you get stuck, just draw a sketch and work it out. Alright, thanks.